countryside, Abigail. Oh, so much like our own dear England. Oh, indeed, yes. Amelia, if I walk much farther, I'll get flat feet. Abigail, we were born with flat feet. <laughs> I say, look over there. Oh, oh how unusual. A fancy that. A cat learning how to swim. And he's going about it all the wrong way. Quite. We must correct him. Sir, uh, sir, you are most fortunate we happened along. Yes, we're here to help you. No, no, back off, girls. I'm doing fine. First, you must gain self-confidence by striking out on your own. Go away. I'm trying to get to shore. You will never learn to swim properly with that willow branch in your mouth. Indeed not. Snip, snip. Here we go. Don't do that! You're doing splendidly! And don't worry about form. It will come later. Oh, he takes to water like a fish, doesn't he? A very enthusiastic pupil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no, this is no time for fun and games. <laughs> Gracious, Amelia. You don't suppose? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Bottoms up! <laughs> Deeper! Look, Ma! There he is! You really did quite well for a beginner. Oh, Thomas! Thank goodness you're saying. Keep practicing and toodle it. Can I help you, Mr. O'Malley, huh? <laughs> help? I've had all the help I can take. Oh, mademoiselle, thank you so much for helping, Mr. O'Malley. Of course, my dear. But first, introduction. Yes, we British like to keep things proper. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am Amelia Gabble, and this is my sister. Uh, Miss Abigail Gabble. <laughs> we're twin sisters. You might say we're related. <laughs> Silly. Oh, how nice. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Look, they got rubber feet. Yeah. <laughs> We're on holiday. For a walking tour of France. For swimming some of the way. On water, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, Thomas, this is Amelia and Abigail Gabble. <laughs> yeah, honey, get those two web-footed lifeguards out of here. Now, now, Thomas. Okay, okay, baby. Hiya, chicks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're not chickens. We're geese. No. I thought you were swans. Oh, oh flatterer. <laughs> Your husband is very charming and very handsome. Well, uh, uh, you see, I, I'm not exactly her husband. Exactly. You either are or you're not. All right. I'm not. Oh. oh. Hmm. It's scandalous. He's nothing but a cat. Absolutely, possibly a reprobate. A rue. Mm, his eyes are too close together. A shifty, too. Mm. And look at his crooked smile. His chin is very weak, too. Obviously <laughs> a philanderer who trifles with unsuspecting women's hearts. How romantic. Please, please let me explain. Thomas is a dear friend of ours. He's just helping us to get to... Come on, Duchess. Come on. Let's get out of here. Well, girls, see you around. We're on our way to Paris. Oh, how nice. We're going to Paris ourselves. Why don't you join us? I think that's a splendid idea. Oh, no. No. Ah, uh, you stand here, dear. And, uh, let's see. Uh, you take this position. Uh, Duchess, uh, you'll do nicely here. Yes, very good. Very and, good. and you, dear, you take this place. Oh. Now that leaves Mr. O'Malley. Oh, we can't leave him, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Malley, I think you should be the rear end. Ready, everyone? Now think, goose. Forward, march! <laughs> Do we have to watch? 
I don't like dado. Yes, dear. Think goose. When we get to Paris, you must meet Uncle Waldo. Waldo? Yes, he's our uncle. We are to meet Uncle Waldo at Le Petit Café. Le Petit Café? Oh, that's that famous restaurant. Ah, oh, c'est magnifique.